Saint Michel, uh, we have decided to do some uh, proximity testing. We are encouraging people who live around here in the neighborhood to come and have uh, uh, the uh, testing uh, if they present symptoms. In Montreal, we have a few neighborhoods that have more COVID positive people. Saint Michel is one of them in our uh, territory of uh, Sears. Rivière des Prairies is the other one, so we will be uh, doing more testing and also uh, we have kind of a, um, a questionnaire that uh, has been developed by the uh, public health, the regional public health with us and uh, we will be trying to understand what is causing uh, the fact that there are more positive uh, COVIDs here in uh, Saint-Michel and Rivière des Prairies. It's on a volunteer basis, so uh, we are we have the capacity of doing about 100 to 125, 150 tests. Uh, it's we do have everything to, to do that capacity. We we do want people who present symptoms, whether it be a cough, uh, um, fever, uh, loss of smell or taste, or extreme fatigue or a runny nose. Uh, so basically we want people who do have not all of those symptoms, but some of those symptoms. The test is not very long. The whole process of identifying yourself and going through is about five to seven minutes. Uh, and it takes about 48 to 72 hours before someone uh, contacts you to give you the results of your test, whether it be positive or negative. Uh, all the positive tests are all, uh, someone calls you up and let it, a nurse will call you if it's positive and let you know uh, what are the recommendations, what you should be doing, staying home, uh, making sure that you, uh, you um, respect all the uh, confinements uh, restrictions. And she will also give you advice if you get sicker uh, to not go out into public places, to wash their hands often, to wash their environments, to make sure that they stay at least two meters from people they are living with, that they use if possible, separate bathrooms and kitchen or eat somewhere else in the house. And um, if they get sicker, then of course, uh, they will have the recommendations to call back and uh, to go to the emergency, really, if they have extreme problems for um, breathing.